Hello and welcome back to the channel where I provide regular cricket content on interesting topics. In today's video I am looking ahead to the start of the World Test Championship final between India and Australia, which starts on Wednesday this week. This is the first test match on a neutral ground between the two giant nations of the game. I am going to look at the teams, plus give what I believe to be an informed prediction as to how I think it will go down. Be sure to let me know in the comments how you think the game goes as well. So let's get started. Firstly both teams need congratulating for getting through to the final and whilst England's run towards the end of the cycle was impressive, I think the best two teams are where they should be. I also want to state how I believe this to be good for the game. In time I think the World Test Championship will gain momentum, to the point where hopefully Test Cricket is at the forefront of everyone's mind. You may have noticed on this channel I focus a lot of my content on Test Cricket, but that is because I am a bit of a purist, and the longest form of the game is my favourite. I enjoy one day and T20 cricket but for me they are like eating fast food, compared to test cricket being a three-course meal at a fine restaurant. Don't get me wrong, I love pizza and burgers but you very rarely remember them, whereas a nice meal in a restaurant is memory that can stay for life. Test cricket is like that for me in that I can recall test matches from 30 years ago but I forget one-day games from last year. On to the World Test Championship Final. Let's start with the squads and some team news to consider. The Australians are obviously over in England for the Ashes which follows the WTC. Bowling-wise it is a huge blow to the Aussies that Josh Hazelwood is out of the game. He was the best on show when they toured here in 2019 in my opinion, and his absence is a real boost to the Indians. Pat Cummins will be a handful as he always is, and I would have thought he would take the new ball with Mitchell Stark. The so-called off-spinning goat will play, and look out for him if India are batting last as the oval tends to break up and spin. Obviously this will benefit the Indian spinners also. With Hazelwood being out, the last Aussie bowling spot looks to be a toss-up between Boland and Nessa. I tried to watch a bit of Nessa in the county match last week and wasn't too impressed, I think Boland plays. From an Indian point of view I think the biggest question is their bowling lineup, and crucially if they are going to pick both Jadeja and Ashwin or not. Jadeja does not have a good record with the ball in England, but he has got an excellent record against Australia, so there may be some battle scars there. You could almost pick him as a specialist batsman anyway, so I think he 100% plays. In terms of Ashwin, he has a better record than Jadeja in England, but interestingly when the Indians last toured here their selectors preferred the left armour. As I mentioned previously however, the oval can turn and what with some quite nice dry weather we have had over here, I think on the last day I would want both spinners playing. Bumrah still being unavailable is a huge loss for the Indians, probably bigger than Hazelwood for the Australians. He was fantastic last time the Indians toured, and I think he is probably the best three-format bowler in the world. The Indians have quite a few bowling options and Siraj is one of those bowlers who will run in all day for their team. Shardul Thakur is in the squad and he bowled well against England when he toured, so I would be happy to see him picked. Who would you pick in terms of the batting lineup for the Indians? I am a bit unsure. Virat has been back playing well so as ever all eyes will be on him. Rohit Sharma is an excellent player, and has scored a hundred at the oval so look for him to push forward from the front. As a fan I am sad to see that Pant won't be here to entertain on our shores again. In terms of my prediction, I have to firstly be honest. I really want the Indians to win. Obviously from a selfish point of view, England will be playing the Australians immediately afterwards, and the thought of them coming off a loss in English conditions is very appealing. But with that said I think both the bookmakers and myself have the Australians as deserved favourites. There are a couple of reasons for that. Firstly some of the key players have been over here in England way in advance of this match, getting used to the conditions and pitches. Smith has scored big runs in the county game, as has Marnus. Then again back to the pitch at the oval, it is probably the most Australian-like wicket there is over here. Traditionally it comes onto the bat quite quickly and offers the bowlers plenty of bounce. It is no Perth of course, but it is a lot closer to it than Chennai. Lastly nearly all of the Indian team has been otherwise focused on the IPL recently, so to move from that straight into test cricket will be challenging. I know that a lot of the Australians played in the IPL, but not as many. In terms of how it goes down, well like most matches a lot depends on the toss. I could see both sides batting quite reserved in the first innings, I assume both would elect to bat first. If the Aussies win the toss and bat first then I have images in my head of spin being the big factor in the fourth innings, with Australia wrapping up a comfortable 80-plus run victory. 
I really hope that I am wrong for a number of reasons but only time will tell. What do you all think? Have I got it wrong? Let me know your predictions in the comments, I can't wait to see how it plays out. Thanks for watching everyone and enjoy the game.